we can't help but notice when we open up the Machsa during the Rosh Hashanah service and afterwards, the amount of times this term Melech is used. Who called Hashem Melech anyway? Hashem calls himself Melech. Now what's very interesting is if we go through the parashiyos that speak about the day of Rosh Hashanah, it doesn't mention Melech, it mentions Yom Trua. Who mentions Melech? It's an amazing thing. Avram Avinu called Hashem the judge of the whole earth. And Hashem calls himself the redeemer who brought us out of Egypt. The word Melech comes from Chazal, interpreting the word Trua. And the reality is when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is spoken about, there's a few terms, but they're all terms of humility. Hashem is Baruch is a humble king. So for example, quoted by the Tani in Eger Satshuva 7, Hashem is Baruch is called Melech Aluf, the king who allows himself to be humiliated. <laughs> Wild. So every single time we say Melech on Rosh Hashanah, it's not Hashem telling us to call him Melech. We chose it. And I would share with us that when we stand and say the word Melech on Rosh Hashanah, we should choose it. I choose to call you HaKadosh Baruch Hu Melech because I know you never told me to call you Melech. I choose to call you Melech. How incredibly powerful, brilliant, and beautiful. The term Melech doesn't come from Hashem telling us to call him Melech. It comes from Adam standing and presenting himself and choosing. I choose to call you Melech. 